I'll show you how to turn on my domain and enhance domain. So this is a uh, trailhead dog. So you go to setup, upper right hand corner, and left hand corner you see in quick find box. Let me get rid of these. They are pop-ups guidance center. Don't worry about that. Let's we are in the quick find work. Let's see. Alright, we are here. First step is turn on turn on the my domain. So this is out of the box my domain. You need to um, uh, customize to yours. I enter my domain as okay. So when I enter Pakea, so uh, Salesforce append hyphen dev hyphen ed, that's fine with me. Um, domain suffix is uh, my.salesforce.com. Um, this is a enhanced domain checkbox. You have to turn on uh, enhanced domain. It is by default is checked in because they are going moving to enhanced domain. Enhanced domain. That means the latest browser requirement and remains stabilized when you all move to another Salesforce instance. You know what? En enhanced domain does it. Um, it has um, security features. It has a um, way to access uh, third party cookies. They have increased the security. So most browsers will disable third party cookies. So they Mm, in and domain how uh, will address a workaround for that right <clears throat> so that uh, in layman's terms they mention here in the help text domain names that meets the latest browser requirement and remain stabilized when your org is moved to another cell for the instance yeah. um, that's what happened at high level but I earlier I told you what's happening at lower level so domain partitioning on don't worry don't worry about that it's just a partitioning domain it is um, uh, that's what it does um, this is the um, this is my uh, url and save it you get um, uh, this step submit your domain for provisioning after provisioning complete, you must deploy your new domain for changes to take effect. We recommend testing your new domain in a sandbox before deploying it. Watch for email telling you you can test and deploy the new domain. Don't worry about that, Mr. Yu. What he says is just wait for the email and so forth. Yeah. You can see here, first step is happening in real time. Choose and register. There are two steps. Let me refresh the second step this time. Okay. Second step is done. You can see the green check marks here. Salesforce provision your new domain. Um, so once the third is ready, I can new uh, i can deploy my new domain to users let's refresh again okay now um so we are back here the third step is here deploy your new domain right it is my action item I have to click either cancel or deploy. So I click the deploy new domain. Then I have to log in. So, so I'm not do, uh, I'm not logging here. Um, here in this step, you can do it. So once you log in, so the new domain is enabled you can see you you see here uh, Pakea 
hyphen dot so this uh, this is the uh, domain I selected here um, yeah let's talk about the enhanced domains of uh, Salesforce many people don't understand what enhanced domain is uh, there are a lot of people millions of people work on Salesforce and using Salesforce they have no idea what enhanced domain is enhanced domains are the next version of my domain with this feature all URLs across your org contain your company specific my domain name including URL of your experience cloud sites Salesforce site, visual for sites, and content files. This feature changes domain suffix, the part after the my domain name to meet the latest security standards. Also, all sandbox URL contain the word sandbox, making them easier to identify. So, why? This is very important. It's a security feature. The major web browsers block third-party cookies from 2022 as a security requirement. Advanced domains solve the problem by cross-domain cookies by changing the structure of the domains that serve content. If you don't understand the whole thing, just say there's a security enhancement. It's associated with cookies and then it's about the blocking of third-party cookies and this is a workaround to access the third-party cookies. So, um, if you are uh, a techie, you can dig into that. But uh, if you are not familiar with this, just forget it. Just think of as a security feature. Benefits. A lot of benefits with that. Uh, new enhanced domain URL will not have instance names like NA32, NA52 etc and have simplified domains and hence will easier to remember and prevent destruction of is moved to another instance the other uh, points of benefits means the latest browser security standards improve the certificate security standard each domain now had, has its own certificate standardizes the host name syntax pattern uses my domain value for more features site salesforce experience now uses my domain accelerates salesforce experience traffic new domain names are designed to share cookies between domains new set of host names of your org so these are the benefits so spend some time on the screen, go through that, and then try to understand what's going on with my domain, yeah? Um, hostname comparison, this is a chart or, uh, or a ima image. So it's, this is a current hostname, enhanced domain hostname, sandbox dom nom domains hostname. Here, right now you have lighting dot post.com or my.selfhost.com um, uh, after changing so it will be sandbox.lightning.com for sandbox for my.selfhost.com it will be sandbox.my.selfhost.com these are the enhanced domain host name these are the sandbox enhanced domain host names um, go through with that and then um, so you can see sandbox is added um, to identify whether it's a sandbox or not um, so these are the current these are the NAS domain or saying this is a sandbox in NAS domain uh, host name yeah. impact when you enable enhanced domain self for URL is you are else change across your org. Your production may, uh, my domain login URL doesn't change, but almost every other Salesforce URL change. Experience cloud size, Salesforce cloud size, visual force pages, content files, use your my domain name. 
to help minimize the disruption, Salesforce redirects other non-enhanced domain host names such as your Visual for pages until winter 24. They stop after that. Okay, you have to fix before 24 winter. This is the timeline. You can see started 2002 and then enhanced domain uh, is uh, GA. Re um, URL redirection is possible until here, October 2030. Enhanced domain is used by default by AUX, so it goes, uh, enhanced domain is enforced. You know, after 23, winter 24, enhanced domains without redirection will uh, uh, be enforced. So all names will, uh, will not be used, only new um, domain. Uh, URL will be used by Salesforce. Yeah. This is a timeline. This is very important timeline. So you have to plan accordingly to fix this issue in your orgs. Winter 23, org 22 for sandbox and October for production. Even after non, after enforcement, Salesforce will support redirection of all URL or you can disable if required. This will end by winter 24 release. Really. That's what I told you. I mentioned it again. How URL redirection will work? When you enable enhanced domains, you will notice your previous my domain list is in the routing section of my domain setup page. In the routing section, you can toggle the redirection behavior on, in, on and off. And also you can have other option to permanently delete the previous URL. So the ball is in, in your court. You, you can play with that. Um, you can toggle between all URL, new, new URL, and then you can delete the old URL, and then you can enable um, redirection. So, the, so you have flexibility to that. These are the checklist uh, for the enhanced domain. Get list of all domain which are going to be changed, and check mention host names, network firewall configurations, hard coded host name references, authentication. Config hard coded host name in custom settings, service integration APIs, MuleSoft and other middleware UI integration, test normal usage activities. What about managed package like CloudCrest, social links comp uh, company sites, uh, experience cloud URL will change, custom domain, bookmarks. Uh, mobile publisher of Experience Cloud app, Salesforce CPQ external configurator, embedded serving, service deployment, chat widget, third party cookies, error and classic, embedded content, single sign on, single sign on integration of OAuth using the .cloudforce and .database.com domain services can fail. So, yeah. Go through the list. So for this one is all URL format and then check to mention host name, check description is check for via versus. Look at this uh, checklist before you enable uh, uh, an ash domain, be prepared and then you have to fix it accordingly. And then there are a lot of implications and there are pain points and there are points we can which can fail so again um, so this is kind of a org wide uh, change impacts your enterprise architecture uh, good luck with that this is Salesforce USA